Channel 3, 6 o'clock. A construction zone crash is putting the spotlight on safety concerns at the start of construction season. And honoring the red, white, and blue, a, na a nation rather pauses to remember those who have made the ultimate sacrifice for their country. Good evening, everybody. I'm Brittany Hogan Huntington. I'm Amanda Barron in Charleston. First tonight, disbelief after a man was choked to death by a neighbor in Boyd County, Kentucky. Dispatchers got the call about 3 o'clock this morning. News Channel 3's Dan Griffin has been following that story all day today. State police first thought, Dan, that this was a shooting. Well, that's right, Brittany. But when investigators arrived on scene, they say they found he'd been choked to death by a neighbor who family members say was a friend. Now people on that quiet Ashland Street are mourning the loss of someone they'd known for years. Absolutely shocked because it's it's nothing like this community. Edward Cook lives just down the street from this home on Fairway Drive in Ashland. It's now a crime scene where Kentucky State Police say 45-year-old Charles Wilhear choked 29-year-old Aaron Adkins to death. It's a shock because we remember Aaron when he was born and as a baby. Uh, we've known his mom and dad for like I say, 20, 25 years or more. And uh, good family, good family. The yellow crime tape surrounding this home just across the street from where Aaron grew up is jarring for neighbors and the people who knew him. They say the two men were friends and nothing like this had ever happened before. Uh, completely out of character for this for this community. State police say Will here and Adkins seem to be fighting, though they wouldn't elaborate why. They arrested Will here at the scene. Family members say Adkins was in town from Indiana for Memorial Day weekend. Absolute shock. Absolute shock. Now they're waiting for answers. Be much in prayer for this family because it has devastated them. And wondering why someone who grew up on this street was killed so viciously next door. Now, Charles Will here is in the Boyd County Detention Center on murder charges, and state troopers say the case is under investigation. They have not, though, released any motive on that. And Brittany, we're told an autopsy is set for tomorrow. All right, thank you, Dan. Now, several agencies were at that home this morning, including the Boyd County Sheriff's Department, State Police, and the Coroner's Office.